scoliosis uh, braces vary. There are some daytime braces and some nighttime braces. Most of the patients that we see do get a daytime brace. This, however, is one of the nighttime braces that we do. Uh, this is a, a Providence brace. We also do a Charleston bending brace. The principle is the same. They tend to want to overcorrect. As you can see, uh, this brace is fairly long, and I know the patient isn't here, but the, the arm would be here, the, the hip would be right in this location. So this brace is long, it's worn just at night, and at night it's lying down. We can be a little bit more aggressive with this brace and push a little bit harder because gravity isn't working against us, but also we have a longer lever arm. Now, the question is, why doesn't everybody get one of these braces? If it's just worn at night, it'd solve a lot of problems. There are certain curve patterns in the spine that dictate that this brace would be a viable brace to wear. If the patient, again, depending on their age, curve pattern, degree of the curve, and location, or the number of vertebrae in, does not dictate that this would be a viable brace, this will not be ordered. So if your child, or if the doctor says, hey, you can wear a nighttime brace, look at it as being very fortunate that that is the case because if you put this on just when you go to bed, you take it off just in the morning, but we do try and get between 10 and 12 hours in this a night. And with today's teenager, we're lucky to get six to seven, but that again is better than uh, not at all.